guys, ATTI here, and let's talk Galaxy S20. So if you haven't already caught up with the latest, the S11 is now going to be called the S20. And details surrounding the S20 and its possible sidekick, the Galaxy Fold 2, are starting to pick up ahead of debut on February 11th. And new leaks from multiple trusted sources have confirmed tons of new information about this phone, including the rumored 120Hz display, no headphone jack, and the S20 will still rock an ultrasonic in-display fingerprint sensor. Samsung is planning to implement 5G in all of the variants this time, as well as 8K 30fps video recording on the back cameras and up to 4K on the selfie camera. Now, there are rumored to be three standard models, which kind of gets confusing because all of these models are upgradable to 5G, which I'll explain later, but the base model, the S20, is rumored to have a 6.2 inch 120Hz AMOLED display. On the back, a quad camera setup with a 12 megapixel regular, 64 megapixel telephoto with 3 times optical zoom, and a 12 megapixel ultra wide. And on the front, a 10 megapixel single punch whole front facing camera, which will be centered. It'll have a base storage of 128 gigabytes, which is pretty good for a base model. 12 gigabytes of RAM and a 4,000 milliamp hour battery, along with the standard Qualcomm Snapdragon 865 processor. So Samsung has decided to go with the iPhone 11 type approach by replacing the base model, the S10e of last year, with a new name of the S20, just like the iPhone 11 replaced the 10R of the previous year. Now the S20 Plus, which is like the mid-range phone, will have a 6.7 inch AMOLED display. The Plus model will still feature the same front and back camera setup and about the same type spec. It'll also have 120 gigs of storage base, but has two other models with the 256 and 512 but then again all of these phones are upgradable up to one terabyte finally the goat phone the absolute overkill spec phone the samsung galaxy s20 ultra which i mean it's probably going to be really expensive but then again if you do want the goat phone you might as well pay for it right this is what we have so far about this phone it's going to be a 6.9 inch amoled display 108 megapixel regular not really a regular but 48 megapixel telephoto with 10 times optical zoom 12 megapixel ultra wide and a time of flight sensor pretty interesting there but on the front you have a 40 megapixel wide angle front facing camera it's a standard 12 gigabytes of ram up to 16 gigabytes of ram this also comes with a 5000 milliamp hour battery and an optional 45 watt fast charger now, like I mentioned before, all these phones will have a 5G variant available. So that makes a total of six phones that are available, which makes it kind of confusing. Let me explain. Last year with the S10 and the Note 10, they had a final version called the S10 5G, which had specced out specs, multiple cameras, and a really big screen, obviously. This was the only version which was available with 5G and also the only specced out version. But this year they had the S20 Ultra, which replaced last year's S10 5G. So this year they have all three phones available with upgradable 5G. So if you take the base model, the S20, and put a 5G on it, it costs a little more, but it's still gonna be the same phone, just with 5G connect. Same thing with the S20 Ultra. The S20 Ultra, 5G is just S20 Ultra with 5G connection, which makes it a little more confusing in naming wise, but a little more expandable in upgrading wise. But one really interesting and questionable move is the removal of the headphone jack. Now the S10 Lite and the Note 10 Lite were announced at CES. They were quite interesting phones, but the bold move Samsung took when making those phones was well appreciated by me and many other people. Samsung made the Note 10 Lite with the headphone jack, and we're thinking that's because the Note 10 did not have a headphone jack. Vice versa, the S10 Lite did not have a headphone jack, again, possibly because the S10 did, which is a pretty smart move from Samsung. So now the only question is, will the next Note have a headphone jack? One thing is for sure, many people would love for that to happen, and I personally think this is approach Samsung will take when making the next Galaxy Note. Because after all, if they can fit a whole S Pen in the Galaxy Note, they should easily be able to fit a headphone jack. So that's it for now. There is going to be a lot more info on this phone, but the next major thing for the S20 and its possible Galaxy Fold 2 sidekick is going to be the Galaxy Unpacked event. So until then, if you like these types of rumor videos, please do let me know on Instagram at official.attti. But that's it for now. ATTI, check it out. I'll catch you in the next one. Peace.